Hey guys, welcome back to Bear Mountain Builds, and today I'm going to show you how easy it is to build this Christmas tree collar. So Christmas tree collars are a newer trend, and it's just a structure that goes around the base of your Christmas tree to cover up the stand, and they look really cool. So I decided I was going to design my own that's made up of a ring on top, a ring on the bottom, and it just connects the two with slats going all the way around. Now this looks a little involved, but actually it goes together really fast and easily. So let's get started. Now I'm going to be making my rings out of this laminate pine round. And before I even start cutting rings out of this thing, I'm going to start with my edge because I want this edge to match the angle of my slats. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to chamfer a 15 degree angle all the way around using my 15 degree chamfer bit on my router table. My dust collection wasn't doing the best job of catching dust, so it kind of felt like it was snowing, which made me feel like it's Christmas, so it's not an issue, it's a feature. With the chamfer cut, just a little bit of cleanup. Now that I have my chamfer cut on my piece, it's time to move on to cutting out the ring. So what I'm gonna be using is this router circle jig. Be pinned in place, the router will mount here, and it's just gonna go around and make the cut in a circle. Now before I can use this though, I need to find the center of this circle. So what I've done is created a rudimentary compass made out of two holes and a piece of quarter inch plywood. And with this, I can find the center of my circle. Now here's a crash course in geometry. When you have a compass, you need to have it be longer than the radius of your circle. And you're gonna make four arcs along four different spots around the circle. So there's one, there's two, there's three, and four. Now, with these marked as a center, I can draw a line for the intersections of each of these two arcs like that, and right here is the center of the circle. Just that easy. With my center found, it's time to cut out the ring. Now, I don't want to cut into my nice table, so I used some leftover foam, put some double stick tape on there, and stuck the whole piece onto it. I'm drilling a hole for the starting position of my router that matches the size of my router bit. This also allows me to accurately set the diameter of the ring. However, keep in mind that the outer edges of the hole will be the new diameters for the outer and inner rings. I'm mounting the base for the Rockler circle jig over the center I just found. Also, I'll have this jig and everything else I use in this video linked in the description below. With my router mounted to my jig, I started cutting a quarter inch down every pass until I was all the way through. Now, you could cut these circles out using a jigsaw, but if you have a router, I highly recommend using a circle jig because it's fast, easy, and makes a perfect circle every time. In this video, I'm not going to discuss any dimensions, but you can find them all in my free plans linked down below in the description. With the smaller circle cut out, I'm back at the router table cutting another 15 degree chamfer. With my chamfer done, I'm back to my piece of foam to cut out the final ring. All right, I've got my rings all cut out and they're looking super good. So what's gonna happen is I have this big ring that's gonna be the base and the little ring will be the top of the structure. And these are gonna be connected together with slats that are gonna be vertically attached with brad nails from the bottom to the top. Now, that means we're moving on to cutting out some slats. So I have this beautiful pine board that I'm gonna be stripping down and cutting up into about 81 slats, which means I have a lot of cutting ahead of me. So let's keep going.
With all the slats cut out, just a little bit of cleanup on the ends and then it's time for assembly. All right, I've got all my slats cut out and I've got my rings cut out. The entire Christmas tree collar is right here. It's just time to put it together. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build a simple jig that's gonna hold this small ring up at the height I want it. Then I'll lay out all my slats around it and then glue and brad nail them on and then this thing will be done. So let's keep going. There's a lot of moving parts to assembling this. So I'm starting off with just clamping my base ring down. I need to keep the ring stable and at the correct height, so I cut three 2x4s to the same length and stuck them to the top ring with double stick tape. I got the top ring roughly centered with the base and started leaning the slats into place with the tops touching. This kind of feels like I'm building a house of cards, but it works. The slats fit perfectly, which could have been dumb luck, but I'm still taking credit for it. Knowing that the slats fit perfectly, I took them down and went around the top ring only, brad nailing each slat in place while making sure that each are touching the previous slat. With the top nailed in, I moved on to the bottom ring. I started with a single slat and used a square to ensure the slat was perpendicular to the two rings and then nailed it in place. Then I moved 10 slats over and repeated the same process. With those two slats pinned in the correct position, I went through the nine slats in between and equally spaced them. I used some popsicle sticks to help hold the spacing. Once they were all nailed in place, I moved on to the next 10th slat and repeated the same process all the way around. Honestly, this part becomes more art than science, but I got the hang of the spacing as I went. With the slats nailed in place, I applied a coat of crystal clear matte poly and declared this Christmas tree collar done. The Christmas tree collar is done and it turned out great. I am looking forward to having this thing underneath my Christmas tree for years to come. Now, as always, hit the subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all my future projects. And if you enjoyed this video at all or found it helpful, please hit the like button for me. It helps me out a ton and I really appreciate it. And leave a comment. Let me know what you're thinking, what you think of the video, how I did in the video. All your comments are really great. I read all of them and they really just mean a lot to me. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.